women have taken to surfing in Morocco, an unusual sport in an unusual place, for sure. As can be expected, they've uh, faced prejudice in their country, which is uh, conservative and patriarchal for the most part. But attitudes are slowly changing, one surfer at a time. But the Moroccan women here are hanging on to their surfing passions in the meantime. Here's how. In Rabat, more and more girls like to surf on the weekends. Surfing is highly unusual in the mostly Muslim North African country. Here women are more often clad in burqas, that is covered from head to toe. Wearing a wetsuit is not only highly unusual in this corner of the world, it can also be frowned upon. The women admit to facing prejudices and harassment from the more conservative quarters of Moroccan society. The women choose the winters to come to the beach. It's a lot more quiet and they can get on with their surfing without too many eyeballs directed at them. Here in our area, people are used to seeing girls in the water. It's not as problematic as it was four years ago, but then it was a little more difficult. Surf lovers come a lot on weekends. We have never seen this beach empty. There are at least 40 or 50 surfers, and girls also come in big numbers, about 15 to 20 surfers. The Rabat Surf Club welcomes many budding surfers on the Moroccan capital's Udayas Beach. Club members here are among the few coming from more tolerant families. Some here want to believe attitudes in the Moroccan society are also changing. My parents were a little reluctant at first because they don't know anything about this area. But I invited them to accompany me to see how it goes and see my classmates. Now I come here alone, I stay all day and I go home without any problem. I hope that all those who have been forbidden by their father or brother to do what they want follow this path because surfing makes them dynamic and active. After that, they will know the secret. Surfers first took to the waves off Morocco's Atlantic coast in the 1960s. Saudi is at a nearby French-American military base were the first to practice the sport there. A handful of enthusiasts quickly nurtured the scene. The sport gradually gained Moroccan enthusiasts, including women. In September 2016, the country held its first international women's surfing contest. North African women in Morocco, despite the teasing and taunting, seem to be gliding down the barriers. Bureau Report, we on.